Real quick one here, guys. We've got a Predator 212 up here that belongs to my brother. Now, he just got this cast aluminum flywheel. And we installed it. Got it lapped in. And we're going to set the coil gap. Now, what I like to do is actually going to be a pretty nice little motor. It's a stocker, but it'll have springs in it. Um, the governor has been pretty much deleted and wired open there. What I like to do is get a sheet of cardboard. Now, an old mailer works really good. When you double it over, you'll see with the calipers here. Now, these are kind of a fractional caliper, but you double that over, it'll give you 30 thousandths or a 32nd of an inch. Now, all you have to do, slip that in there between the magnets on the coil and the coil itself. Loosen the nuts up on the coil. We'll use this here gear wrench ratchet and socket we got from Mr. Joe. And it will suck itself right down onto the flywheel, right down onto the magnets, and that paper will conform better than a steel feeler gauge, right? So now, magnets are sucking that thing down. We know they're 30 thousandths away from that flywheel. Now, if this was a billet, you know, we'd run a little more clearance, but 30's good. So now we just tighten this guy back up. And we will roll the paper out and we'll be good to go. That's tight. I have to move this a little bit, like so. There we go. Get her snug down and we can actually torque that later, but she ain't going nowhere. So now that that's in there, that's in place, all we have to do is turn the motor. And that will slide right out. And we got our coil gap. There you have it.